Nico, it's great to see you. How difficult was it for you to put on the Green Tech Festival there in Berlin? I know that the inaugural one was, of course, last year, and you had 40,000 participants. Yeah, hi, Tanya. It's always a pleasure to speak to you. Um, yes, yeah, so it's been a big challenge, of course, because of Corona, but Corona was very well managed in Germany. Uh, so for now, we're not in the second wave yet. And therefore, at the moment, it is all more or less manageable for us here. Of course, we had to invest a lot into a very big hygienic concept, which we've executed, I think, extremely well, uh, being very, very careful. And we can have up to 750 people here at the same time in our conference. Um, so that's, that's still plenty of people. And we developed our virtual, uh, virtual module now. We accelerated that. So. You have the Switch Green, which has been a big theme at the event. Tell me about that. Yeah, so Switch Green was just our uh, opening session now. We had 60 minutes. We had global leaders from around the world who were addressing all of us, really. First of all, with their personal story, but also with their call to action. And it was very, very emotional uh, also because we had even Jane Goodall, uh, Dame Ellen MacArthur, who were all taking part and, and so powerful, you know, their experiences and what they've been doing and how they encourage us to do, to do more ourselves. It's been a, yeah, a big, big, big moment for me. I'm very, very proud as well. We even had the Google CEO, Sundar Pichai, who was, who was speaking for the first time after their, after their unbelievably big announcement when it comes to renewable energies. As you know, 2030, they will be only using renewable energies to power themselves directly. No more offsetting, no more nothing. Uh, so that's a big, big ask. And it was the first talk from him after that. So it was amazing to hear firsthand how they're implementing that. Yeah, Nico, how do you think they will do that? And do you think it's achievable from what you've seen? Google, it's going to be different from location to location. There are some locations where it will be geothermal energy, other locations where it will be uh, solar energy, other locations where it will be wind. So it's really going to vary. But of course, it's going to require a lot of partnerships, a lot of investments as well. But in the long term, it's going to be, of course, fundamentally uh, beneficial to them as a company as well, as well as everybody on our, on, in society and our planet, because they're such a big consumer of, uh, of electricity, as we know. Nico, what do you think was the actual personal motivation for you to go from Formula One champion to green mobility champion? Okay, so winning in Formula One was absolutely awesome, but I always felt there was still a little bit, of, a little bit something missing, a little bit of purpose, uh, a little bit something more meaningful. And this why now as, as an entrepreneur, I'm finding my direction in the sustainability and, and I'm really thriving. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm energized, motivated. Um, and I hope to contribute, you know, I hope to contribute to the lives of the many, um, but also even in a small detail for me personally to my, to my kids. You know, I really, I have two young daughters at three and five and I, want, I wish to inspire them as well with my legacy and, and uh, this is what I'm trying to do. You've mentioned your children. What do you do at home to make it sustainable? What steps do you take? We just had a delivery of uh, metal straws the other day. Uh, so we're trying to get rid of all plastics and so no more plastic straws. So now we have metal straws and, and we have uh, no plastic bottles, glass bottles. We, we use electric cars because uh, the car sharing in Monaco is electric. So these are all examples. But of course, we're far from perfect um, because if you were perfect, you would have to live in a cave. Uh, unfortunately, but I think it's important for all of us to just think about it, be conscious of it and do as much as we can with our own means. What about governments, Nico? What more would you like them to do, especially with climate change and look at the raging fires that we're seeing in California at the moment? Yes, that is shocking, isn't it? How, how we're experiencing more and more of these devastating fires around the world. Um, and it's most likely, of course, as a result of the climate change. So that's terrible. And, and uh, yeah, uh, it, it does require governments to, to really up their game. And uh, I think we had Ursula von der Leyen as well um, speaking today in our Switch Green session. And she was again talking about all the incentives around the, the policies and, and uh, around their Green Deal, you know, and it's, I think she's really trailblazing with that, you know, to, to aim for Europe to be the first carbon neutral uh, uh, emission free continent by 2050 is very, very ambitious. And she's setting the groundwork now with this Green Deal and, and integrating businesses uh, into that very much and aligning everything. And that's impressive. I mean, that's really, really impressive. And what do you say to the climate deniers? There are those out there. What's your message to them? So as Prince Albert also just said in our session, please trust the scientists. We have the best scientists in the world on the case and they're all united with an opinion. Of course, there's a few outliers, but they're all united in the opinion, uh, um, basing themselves on the facts on their research, that it is all real and it is one of the biggest threats we've ever faced. And uh, it's not too late. We still have time. So it's just um, time to act now and I want to wish to do my part here with my festival and with all my other projects uh, that are ongoing. I want to contribute. And what do you want the message to be from your festival, Nico? 
Well, my festival is about uh, showcasing solutions. It's really um, because every company in the world is requiring solutions for them to go greener as well. Not everybody has the opportunities like Google to make such a, a bold statement today. Um, and therefore, we need to support all kinds of business with solutions, with ideas, bringing, connecting them with startups who are coming with, with groundbreaking ideas, which maybe won't cost that much either, but will help you so much to go greener. And not only in the business world, but also consumers out everywhere in the world, which is like you, Tanya, and I. Um, we're, our festival is also there to convince us uh, to adopt these greener technologies. Um, and we want to show how fascinating they are and that they're not full of compromise anymore. And are you enjoying being on Shark Tank? It's tough, this Shark Tank, because you have no idea what's coming. Like, you have no idea, is this, uh, is this founder talking complete nonsense or is it the next 100 million, 100 million euro idea? And you don't even know what idea is coming because they don't tell you, it's top confidential. So it really, you have 45 minutes time to evaluate everything and to then get the deal if it's good and beat all the other sharks. Uh, so it's really, really competitive and that's what I love. I mean, I, I thrive on competition. So that's exactly what I love and, uh, and so I enjoy being on the show and, and really supporting these founders that have great ideas in the world of sustainability. Nico, you're involved in so many initiatives, but are you worried about the green energy sustainability because of COVID and the impact of the pandemic? I'm not worried because I have evidence here in my event. Um, we are only surviving because we're receiving so much support. So we're actually not only surviving, but we're thriving. I mean, we're developing our event. We're growing in the midst of Corona, um, which really, I mean, I personally could not have foreseen that, but it's a, it's a real testament how, how Corona is, is event, at the end of the day, it's going to raise more awareness, I think, for the environmental issues as well, because people have seen how fragile we are, and there's a growing need for us to join forces, to get together, to help each other, to care. And I think this is going to help the environmental issues as well. Well, Nico, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Tanya.